Hi guys. This is Falcon's production. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to tell you about 15 most commonly used instruments in microbiology lab along with their uses and principle of use, first of all. I would like to tell you about analytical balance. An analytical balance is a type of balance that is commonly used for the measurement of mass in the submilligram range. Uses as they are highly precise and based on advanced technology, analytical balances are explicitly used in laboratories for the effective completion of tasks like weighing test materials and sampling amounts, formulation, density determination, purity analysis, quality control testing, and material and conformance testing. On number 2. I would like to tell you about autoclave. An autoclave is a pressurized chamber used for the process of sterilization and disinfection by combining three factors, time, pressure and steam. Uses Autoclaves are mostly used for the sterilization of medical or laboratory equipment with the capacity of sterilizing a large number of materials at once. They are commonly used for the preparation of culture media during laboratory applications. On number 3. I would like to tell you about colony counter. A colony counter is used to estimate the density of a liquid culture by counting the number of CFU, colony forming units, on an agar or culture plates. Uses A colony counter is primarily used for counting the number of colonies present on a culture plate to estimate the concentration of microorganisms in liquid culture. On number 4. I would like to tell you about homogenizer. Homogenizer is a device used in laboratories for the mixing of various liquids in materials like tissue, plant, food, soil, and many others. Uses A homogenizer is primarily used to disrupt cells to acquire cell organelles for different microbiological processes. It is used in the preparation step before the extraction and purification of different macromolecules like proteins, nucleic acids, and lipids. On number 5. I would like to tell you about a hot plate. A hot plate is a standalone appliance used in microbiology laboratories as a tabletop heating system. Uses. In a laboratory, hot plates are used to heat glassware and their components. They are used over water baths as in water baths might be hazardous in case of any spills or overheat. On number 6. I would like to tell you about a hot air oven. A hot air oven is an electrical device that is used for sterilization of medical equipment or samples using dry heat. Uses Hot air oven can be used to sterilize materials like glassware, metal equipment, powders, etc. It allows for the destruction of microorganisms as well as bacterial spores. On number 7. I would like to tell you about incubator. An incubator is a device that is used in the laboratories for the growth and maintenance of microorganisms and cultures. Incubator provides an optimal temperature, pressure, moisture, among other things required for the growth of microorganisms. Uses Incubators have a wide range of applications including cell culture, pharmaceutical studies, hematological studies, and biochemical studies. Incubators can also be used in the steam cell research area. On number 8. I would like to tell you about magnetic stirrer. Magnetic stirrer is a device commonly used in microbiology laboratories for the purpose of mixing liquids. Uses. It is usually used for mixing various liquid components in a mixture in a chemical or microbiology laboratory. This device is used in place of other stirrers as it is noise-free and because the size of the stirrer bar is so tiny, there is less chance of contamination. On number 9. I would like to tell you about pH meter. pH meter is a device used in laboratories that measure the H ion concentration in water-based solutions to determine the acidity or alkalinity of the solution. A pH meter is often termed as potentiometric pH meter as it measures the difference in electric potential between the reference and a pH electrode. Uses A pH meter is primarily used to measure the acidity of pharmaceutical chemicals, cultures, soil, and water treatment plant. It can be used to measure the acidity level in wine and cheese during their production. On number 10. 
I would like to tell you about Vortex Mixture or Vortexer. A vortex mixture is one of the basic technologies used for the mixing of samples in glass tubes or flasks in laboratories. Uses Vortex mixer is mostly used for the mixing of various sample fluids in the sample tubes and also allows for the homogenization of cells and cell organelles. On number 11. I would like to tell you about water bath. Water bath is a conventional device that is used for chemical reactions that required a controlled environment at a constant temperature. Uses Water baths are primarily used for heating samples under a controlled temperature. These are suitable for heating chemicals that might be flammable under direct ignition. On number 12. I would like to tell you about water distiller. A water distiller is a device that purifies water by the process of distillation. This instrument is commonly used in medical laboratories, microbiology laboratories, organic chemistry laboratories and medical industries. Uses It is used to obtain distilled water required for many lab tests as well as for the preparation of culture media. On number 13. I would like to tell you about microscope. Microscopes are devices that allow the observer to an exceedingly close view of minute particles. There are many types of microscopes used by microbiologists to see microorganisms. Uses Based on the type of microscopes, different microscopes are used for different purposes. They are primarily used for the observation of minute particles which cannot be observed with naked eyes. On number 14. I would like to tell you about laminar airflow or laminar hood. Laminar hood is a closed device primarily for processes or instruments sensitive to microbial contamination. Uses Laminar hood is commonly used to conduct processes that are sensitive to contamination. It is used for experiments related to plant tissue culture and for the experiments of genetic transformation. On number 15 and the last. I would like to tell you about laminar Bunsen burner. Bunsen burner is a standard tool used in laboratories, named after Robert Bunsen. It is a gas-fueled single open flame. Uses It is commonly used for processes like sterilization, combustion, and heating. In medical or microbiology laboratories, it is commonly used for microloop sterilization. If you liked my video please don't forget to subscribe.